Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how we can do a dashboard design in PowerPoint. So without any further ado, let's start. So we are going to do this video in two steps. One is part one, where we are going to design the overall theme of the dashboard. And the second, we will be drawing these animations of this pie chart, this line diagram, maps and everything. So we'll be splitting this video into two parts. The second part will be released by the next week. So stay tuned for it. Let's do this first part. So press Ctrl N to take a new document. Come to layout option here and choose it to blank. Why we are looking for designing a dashboard is it, it, it looks pretty handy actually. See, you have graphs here. Everything is coming around and especially if you are a, if you're a part of some corporate who has a lot of sales and marketing thing associated, showing off your data in a dashboard looks very good so that's what the motivation of this tutorial and in fact say this is annual sales report and client status and you want to show some other slide you no need to jump to the next slide you can just click here and you can find the other slide just for example net profit so you will be in the other slide the data is same which i have not changed because it's just a dummy data so let's start so first i'll make, draw a rectangle to give a background to this right click on it and choose format shape come to fill tab and in solid fill choose a color of your choice so i am taking a dark blue color you can in fact i'll take even further dark so this blue color i'll take yeah this looks good now again i copy control c and control v paste it i line it here and i'll reduce the size and I'll come to solid fill again and give it an even dark fill. So it differentiates with the background. I'll come to shape effect and shadow and I'll give this shadow. I'll select this. So I'll select the small rectangle here. Come to shape effect shadow and give this shadow so that it again differentiates with the background. Now let us create I'll be jumping around with the theme here. Don't worry, color is a little different. You can choose any color. So now we are going to create these three buttons. It's, it's usually, this theme usually, uh, most of the Android phone use this thing. So we'll see how to draw this. So it's pretty easy. What I'm feeling, I'll also take this similar background here. Format shape, because it's looking good. And I'll also take a dark background. And I'll select both or you can press Ctrl A and come to shape outline and make it no outline. Now take line, draw a small line, change its color to white and increase its width to somewhere around 3 or 2.75 looks decent. Now if I zoom in here, you can see the ends are not, the ends are very flat. They are not circular like that. So. I'll come to solid fill, make sure you're in solid fill and uh, in the cap type, you can see the cap type, it's flat that you need to change it to round. So here we go. Now I'll press control D to duplicate this and I'll arrange it here. And again, I press control D. So I'll get this. So I'll zoom out. Shortcut for zoom out is press control and scroll up to zoom in scroll down to zoom me out now i'll select these three i'll press ctrl g to group them and i'll keep it somewhere here so our this icon is ready i'm going to take a text box now and i'll take a decent length here and the font i'll take white because it's a dark background so the font has to be light color and we will write here slide one just it's all up to you uh, whatever you want to put here or in fact you can keep a date also here so let us example i will take some dummy date here say 31 october 2019 and just to give a theme kind of effect I'll shorten it out and I'll give some username here 
so you can write any name here username and you might be wondering there is an icon here how to make that icon i'll just quickly show you it's pretty easy to make this icon so what you need to do take a rectangle the rectangle top corner rounded this one draw it pick this yellow point here and change it to till the end it goes take this ellipse tool you can see here oval and just drag it here keep it somewhere here make sure the fill color is white for this also and let us give outline color come to shape outline i dropper and give this color and increase the weight six looks fine to me now you can see this kind of icon is ready so i'll press control g i'll reduce the size now it looks big okay you just make sure you remove the outline on both we on the second one i we don't know uh, we don't need any outline i feel we will reduce the line thickness this looks fine i'll take a circle again around it i will draw i'll center this come to fill make it make sure there is a no fill and line come to solid line change this color to white and increase the thickness or width that looks good now select these two press control g to group and place it sorry and place it here still looks big what i'll do so we'll reduce it further and i will reduce the thickness of this line also looks good to me we'll place it here and we'll move it somewhere so this way our top uh, i would say the top of our dashboard is ready now we are going to make this tab here which will be if i show you the slide show preview so we want this to animate when we, whenever we should click this it should appear and uh, whenever we click the other way it should disappear so before moving that you have to take a judgment on the number of slides you are going to make so i will duplicate it two times so i'll press duplicate and i'll press again duplicate so the next step is let us assume let us give some name to these slides so let us name this as slide 1 change the color to white so what i mean to say here slide 1 i'll paste it here and again to the next slide so all the three slides i have pasted let us quickly change the name here 2 and 3 so total we have 1 2 and 3 slides total three slides so now let us make this uh, hover menu here so take a rectangle and uh, how much width you want you can just keep simply here give it as some other color so that it will be visible here properly so i'll be going with green and i will reduce the transparency to somewhere around 40% looks good to me now i will go take a text box and i will write here the center slide 1 give it a bold and a white color and i'll underline this so that it will be easy
and change the underlying color to white. I'll copy both. I'll press Ctrl D and I'll place it somewhere here and again press Ctrl D and I'll name it to 3. We need to link this text. Okay. So just select the text, right click and come to hyperlink. Now we are hyperlinking within the same document. So place in this document. So this is select one text. You just click here, select slide. So this is slide one text. Make sure you click on the slide one. That's okay. Make sure again come to hyperlink, place in the document slide 2. Again, you have to link this slide 2. Make sure you change the color again. And again, right click hyperlink slide 3. So now we'll group all these together, including this box. So just to show you, I have grouped all these things together. Control C, copy it and paste on all. Okay, now we are going to see how to animate this. So we'll come to the animation tab and I'll click add animation and I want it to come this way so that it should give an animation effect here. So I will say fly in. I don't want it to come from down to up. I want it to be come from left. But again, I want only this to animate when I click here. So I select this group here. I'll come to trigger on click of what? So here things become difficult. So what you need to do? Come to home. Here you can see option called select. You can come to selection pane. Now when you select this, you can see its name is group 9. Let us rename this for ease of our use. Let us name this as top icon. Okay. Now select the group again, come to the animation tab, come to trigger option on click of top icon. Okay. Now let me just check here. So when I click here, it's working. Now I want when I click again here, it instead of see uh, when you click again, it's coming again and again. But I want once I click, it should come. If I click it again, it should go back. So for that, we'll select it again. We'll come to add animation and we'll give it a fly out. Now I don't want it to go down. I just want it to go to left. But for that again, I want a trigger on click of top icon. Now let me check if the animation is working. So one first click it's appearing, second click it disappearing. Again it's clicking, we it's coming and again it's going. So that's all guys for today's tutorial. I hope you like this. We'll be continuing the same tutorial next week also. The video will be uploaded by next weekend. So stay tuned. You can check out my other videos on Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint and comment down below what do you feel about this tutorial. See you next video.